Hey everybody, Independent Voter Thoughts, Part 13. I've just been thinking about what former President Trump said during the debate with VP Harris when he claimed that the Haitian immigrants in Springfield, Ohio were eating uh, the neighbor's dogs and cats. There's so much wrong with that statement, uh, let alone that it's false. Uh, and we know that that's a dog whistle to those that he has already convinced uh, that our nation is being overrun uh, by criminal uh, migration. Those of us who know better know that's not true. Uh, do we have an issue with migration that we need to settle? Absolutely. But let me give you this perspective. I have extensive international travel and I have uh, lived abroad in several different nations. And all of those nations where I've lived, I have been an immigrant to those nations. It is something when you go to a place that you're unfamiliar with their culture, with their language, with their systems, with their infrastructure, with how they do daily life. That is a tremendously uphill battle. And I suggest that many Americans who are very... Um, critical about the immigration situation that we have here, uh, I don't think many of you have traveled well. But Donald Trump has had extensive international travel. As a matter of fact, he's married to an immigrant, and I think that she is the second immigrant that he's married. He knows better. I hope that those of you who follow him really understand that he's playing with you. He's playing you like a fiddle. And let's not forget there was an opportunity to really make a great impact on our border situation and our immigration situation. That very conservative bill was going to be passed. He stepped in and told the Republicans in the House of Representatives and in the Senate to not get behind that bill because he wanted to run on it. If he was so interested in trying to solve the problem, he would have supported that bill, let it get to President Biden's desk. Let it get signed so that we can have progress. He chose to have an argument during this process than to have resolution on an issue that we have. I'm going to say once again, for those of us who are believers, we are to love our neighbor. Christ asked the question, so who is your neighbor? The one who showed mercy. Love your neighbor. That means get to know your neighbor. Treat your neighbor as you would want to be treated. We have to uh, entertain the stranger. And all of us who are believers, that sounds familiar, right? And so we need to learn how to be kind. Um, I'm hearing leaders talk about being in the community and, and you, you got neighbors who don't speak English. So you got neighbors who are wearing their traditional cultural uh, attire. So America was built on immigrants. Okay. And if we want to get into the real history of this country, what they're teaching us about how nice Christopher Columbus was is not the truth. We're in a season where truth is coming forth. Truth. Love your neighbor. And before you set yourself as an expert on immigration, you may want to do some study, get some real information. And may I suggest do some international travel. Go to a place where you're not part of. Uh, of the minority, excuse me, the majority culture where you don't speak the language, you don't know the culture, you don't know the language, you don't know the land, you don't know the customs. Maybe then it'll give you a different perspective on how you speak, feel, and treat others. All right? Just my thoughts. Y'all have a good one.